Hi guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a huge Ravenwing army that's been completed by Ben, one the artist here at Siege. This army is for Lawrence and the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. Uh, it was on display at our stand at Salute this Saturday, just gone. So if you saw it, you'll definitely know all the great models that are in it already. Uh, if you weren't there, unfortunately, then don't worry because we're going to go through and have a look at quite a few of the models in the army now. Uh, so to start off with, we're going to dive on in and have a look at Sam Ale, uh, obviously the HQ of this force. Uh, as you can see, all these models are painted to our silver silver level in the studio, that silver level character and then also silver level in, uh, troops and other vehicles. As you can see, loads and loads and loads of detail work on Sam Ale, really, really nice model. Always been a big fan of the, jet, the sort of jet bike as well, one of the only sort of jet bikes in sort of uh, 40k as well for the, like, the Imperial side. Um, as you can see, really nice colourway there on the uh, Eagle, as you can see, all the detail picked out, multiple highlighted throughout on all the areas. Uh, special attention obviously been paid to, to his blade as well, it's a completely uh, brush painted, blended blade as you can see there, so a lot of time taken just specifically on that blade as well as you can see let's get that to focus for you guys nice top down view here so you can see obviously all the controls and everything that have all been sort of highlighted multiple colors all picked out all the areas have been edged as well as you can see script work on the book on the front of the jet bike as well all picked out uh, all the facial details there picked out eyes teeth everything all picked out all those different areas lovely model again as you can see great hq for this force so that's sam ale going to pull forward uh, a few of the bikes there's obviously a whole host of them as you can see uh, so going to pull forward a few just so you guys can have a look at them um what ben's done is uh, on some of these he's put used some of the uh, 30k Ma maximus heads as well just to make them a little bit different uh, as well just to add a little bit of character to them as you can see here loads and loads of detail all the sort of lenses and gems all picked out nice sort of ethereal glow on all the night lights as one of the bikes that's been done uh, all the ammo hopper there all picked out and multiple highlighted uh, and really nice sort of uh, sort of zenithal kind of look on the black as well uh, really really nice sort of edging all done as well as you can see uh, so that's just one of the bikers pull him back and then we'll get pulled for one of the sergeants just so you can have a look, get this to focus. Uh, as you can see there, all the facial details are all picked out. He's got some nasty scars on him as well, so he's a battle-hardened veteran. Uh, and you can see the, all the cloak work with multiple highlights in there to pick out all the highest areas. Moving around, no expense spared. Every single squad in this bike force has also been numbered, uh, so they can be easily recognised on the tabletop as well. Just get that to focus a little bit more for you. Uh, all the sort of different contrasts and all the sort of tabards on all the purity seals on the cloak, uh, and then you've got multiple edging on all the different areas of the armour as well, as you can see. Uh, great, great models of Ravenwing. And again, no expense spared. All the controls all picked out and painted and highlighted with detail work as well. So that's just one of the sergeants. Um, I'm going to pull forward uh, another one of the bikers, just pull forward another sergeant here from the back. Uh, as you can see, same thing again, really, really nice, clean sort of look to the models as well. Really sort of, uh, sort of just a bit different from normal with the glowing areas on all the different panels, uh, just to really sort of push that sort of color on the black, as you can see there. And again, same consistency of work throughout the commission, all the areas of highlighting, all the areas of detail, really nice basing work as well. Nice bit of mudding on the tires as well, just to really sort of incorporate the vehicle or bike to the, to the base as well. So that's just another one of the sergeants. Um, pull forward another one of the individual bikers. As you can see here, again, we've used another Maximus head on this guy. And uh, again, you can see the transitional color on the black. Just to make the black interesting, it's got this, not glowing, but well, kind of glowing, but it's just a little bit kind of a different look, just to really sort of make the black more interesting. And then finally picked out with a wedge highlighting throughout. Really nice, sharp, crisp edging as well, as you can see there. Uh, no expense spared on the lenses on the guy as well. It's got a point of light source at the back of the lens and then transitional color all the way through to the front, uh, which is really, really nice. And then uh, again, it's really dynamic, making him look like he's looking for a target on this guy as well. So that's just another one of the bikers. Because there are so many bikers, I'm not going to pull forward every Every single one so you can have a look at but we'll have a look at some of the attack bikes now and again as you can see here it's really nice sort of what we've done is uh, what ben's done should i say is is uh put some of the uh, sort of icons and things on the bikes just to really sort of keep pushing that sort of raven wing kind of feel uh, and as you can see there all nicely multiple edge highlighted throughout on all the areas of the armor and uh, you've got some really really nice sort of transitional colors there from the on the black uh, again all the detail picked out all the areas are sort of highlighted and with contrast there's no expense spared uh, again you can see the, the control panel there on the bike has all been detailed as well uh, so that's one of the attack bikers and then pull forward another land one of the land speeders so you can have a look at oh, just grab it uh, so there we go one of the land speeders put some icons on the front as you can see there and then moving around every area edged full detail work on all the areas of the model nice little yellow tip there on all the missiles all the different buttons and dials in the back of the land speeder picked out and we move around to the cockpit so you can see 
uh, just getting that to light up for you uh, and then you can see all the dials and everything all picked out as well there and the same sort of glow on all the lighting across the force as you can see there all the facial details picked out eyes teeth everything uh, and again full detail work all picked out uh, to put the land speeder back and then we're going to pull forward a couple of the command squad in this force uh, some really nice models in here um, we've got for example the champion here at the front let's grab him you can reach <laughs> uh, get that to focus. I always like this model, the sword is really cool as well, reminds me of the Deathwing game uh, and again you can see all the sort of shrine bit on the back has all been picked out and highlighted, nice sort of like trend, a sort of marbling kind of green marble kind of effect on the uh, two sort of like guys holding the ring up at the back with the wings uh, and then moving around here you've got a skull and just in between all picked out and highlighted. Number one obviously put on the pad because he's in the command squad, you've got the plasma talons there on the front Ethereal glow, all the lens work all done. Nice little blue sort of shimmering uh, power sort of bit on the sword as well. And as you can see, all the edge in there, for example, on the pommel of the sword, all multiple edged as well, just to really make those areas stand out. So that is the uh, sort of champion from that unit. Uh, Going to grab the banner bearer, uh, just because he is really cool and there's a lot of detail work on him. Uh, so get him to, into focus for you guys. So there, there you go, you can see uh, all sort of freehand sort of writing on the uh, banner as well, where it says Dark Angels and Ravenwing. Uh, again, really, really detailed, super detailed sculpted banner, but it's all been sort of multiple highlighted on all the different areas just to really make those make it pop really on the model a uh, nice sort of like a diamond pattern as well on there which is really cool and then you've got some zenithal highlighting here just on the uh, on the light as well across the whole commission as you can see just to really keep everything in unison uh, again that's just the uh, the banner bearer from the unit love the little purity seal on his leg there as well uh, all the sort of satchels all highlighted on the edges as we can see multiple colors which is really cool uh, so that's the uh, banner bearer uh, and then we're going to pull forward for example the apothecary just have a look, quick look at the apothecary so let's get him into focus. Uh, really nice white armor on black, really nice contrast, which is really cool. Uh, all different vials and things all there picked out with some bubbles and things, which is really cool. And then you move him around, you've got the same sort of zenithal glow on his like lamp light at the back here. All the lenses all picked out throughout the, uh, the bike as well. More sort of vials there picked out, nice green glow on the uh, all specs, as you can see. And all those details there all picked out on the, uh, on the bike controls, as you can see there as well, which is really nice. So that's the apothecary of the command squad. And then we'll pull forward uh, the, another one of the big land speeders, just so you can have a look at it, what's come off its base. This is Dark Shroud, but correct me if I'm wrong, and there's two variants. Uh, so as you can see, I love the uh, Salt Cannon Turret Gunner, just something very, very different, as you can see there. And the same marble work all done through, nice green glass effect there, like cathedral kind of effect, with all freehand on all the uh, script work that comes off the side there, as you can see. All the dials and buttons and everything picked out on the, the sort of throne area of this as well, which is really cool. Uh, and then moving around the back, you can see all the different areas of detail work that all picked out and highlighted throughout, uh, as you can see there, which is really, really nice. I really like this land speed. It's very different um, and different from sort of anything else you can see out there, which is really, really cool. Uh, so that's that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull forward uh, a couple of the flyers just so you can have a look at the flyers. Uh, give me two secs. Oop. Get that back on there. Not gonna go. Here we go. And then we'll pull forward a couple of the flyers so you can have a look at the flyers, guys. Now, this is be really close, but let's have a look. So as you can see, again, same sort of missile effect of the on the missiles there, picked out with yellow tips, which is really nice. On the wings there, as you can see, um, we've got a nice sort of like streaking effect just on those wings, as you can see, with some chipping, a little bit of weathering, um, and then around the areas of the canopy and things, there is some sort of uh, chipping as well, as you can see. But again, really nice, sort of just a glow on the, on the brighter areas, just to sort of show that the light's refracting on those areas of the of the ship as well. And inside the cockpit, uh, just get that to focus, he's all picked out and all done as well there, with all the details on all the... Uh, uh, buttons and dials and screens and things as you can see uh, which is really really nice again it's a nice top view nice transitional color it goes from a nice bright white to sort of more of a mid sort of bluish like sort of grayish kind of color there as well which is really cool and again that's just one of the flyers uh, same on the uh, same on the other one on the flanking on the far left uh, i'm going to pull forward the uh, the one in the middle as well so you can have a look at that uh, and again it is magnetized so these do come out and they can replace them with the las cannons as well so there's some some flexibility of weapon loadout as well there as you can see just get that back and then we'll pull forward the one in the middle for you guys to have a look at Ooh, grab that 
So with this one, there's more of like a cathedral on the, on the back of it. And uh, what Ben's gone in and done is a load of marble work all on there just to really make that sort of uh, stand out from the black armoured canopy and then sort of hull of the fighter as well, as you can see. Uh, all the different bolts are all, all sort of drilled, as well. you can see there with all the lenses picked out in the centre uh, as well, as you can see. So moving around and then on the wings, uh, Ben's gone in and done like a marble effect on the wings just so that uh, it just gives it a bit more interest on those areas of the model. It's a bit more of an ornate flyer, so you'd expect it to have more sort of ornate material on it on the tail as well as you can see marble effect done on there uh, we have got a tutorial for that on um, on our Instagram account as well so if you want to go and follow us on Instagram and uh, you can just scroll down and find the tutorial on how to do that marble it is on there um, and again as you can see moving around the fighters just around the back a little bit of uh, scraping and scratching on different areas of uh, the sort of surfaces that would like get clipped by debris um, and as you can see there but the, the really nice sort of cathedral part in the middle which is really really cool uh, all the gold work all picked out highlighted and contrasted to various levels uh, just so then that way you can uh, sort of really see the detail on all those gold areas as well uh, so that's the main one of the main fighters so overall commission is going to be on Lawrence's channels both channels as I mentioned earlier uh, it's a lovely 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 army to work on and if you did see it salute then you know you would have seen all the loads of details that are actually within the force it's been an absolute pleasure to work on it uh, Ben's had a great time doing it now if you want to go watch it do what it does best go head over to the tabletop tactics youtube channel or for if you're already subscribed to them then you'll be getting some early videos i believe uh on the uh, sort of uh, the paid subscribe channel as well but uh, i hope you like it guys keep following uh, uh, lawrence and the guys they do some great battle reports and uh, if you're interested in an army commission this gives you a good example of what we can do for you guys here at the studio um all our contact details and everything can be found below uh, in the description of this video so please feel free to drop us an email through the contact tab on our website uh, as always please like please comment and please subscribe to our channel because it really does you know help us out and we do appreciate it a lot it's good to uh, sort of you know get you guys up to date with everything that we're doing within the, the studio uh, and you can see all the projects that are happening for, for our clients and if you do want a commission then get, uh, get an email sent across to us and we'll uh, we'll come back to you and get the ball rolling thanks a lot guys as always i'll speak to you very very soon have a good afternoon take care bye bye